The theory of general intelligence, originally proposed by Charles Spearman, states that a single G-factor determines intelligence. Since there is one overarching intelligence, cognitive performance across different types of tasks are interrelated as they are solely dependent on the aforementioned G-factor. The different intelligence theories are often confused for one another, so in this video, I'll share my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information about general intelligence so you'll be ready for test day. This scene's anchor is an army general. He's deep in thought at the war table because this general has to dictate strategy for the entire army. By the way, this general coincidentally helps me remember general intelligence. Get it? A general? For general intelligence? Let's move on. All right, now, check out this G on the general's hat. That's how you really know he's the general around here. G for general, right? Actually, this G stands for the G factor, a single factor that underlies all intelligence. The G factor is important to remember, since the general intelligence theory is built on two things. One, that there is one single intelligence that dominates all thinking tasks. And two, that this single intelligence can be solely measured by a person's G factor. Another psychologist guy named Cattell later proposed that general intelligence is actually split into fluid and crystallized intelligences, but we'll save that for another video. For now, just remember G for G factor. See that spear the general's holding? He's ready to go into battle in case of an attack. This spear should remind you of the name Spearman, the guy who originally proposed the theory of general intelligence. Remember, Charles Spearman proposed general intelligence. Next, take a look at the war table. No wonder why this general is thinking so hard. All the battles seem interconnected. The performance of his army on one front will determine the course of the battle in other places. By the way, these interconnected battles remind me of how cognitive performance is interrelated according to general intelligence. In other words, thinking performance in one area predicts performance in others. To give you a real-world example, this is basically saying that the girl who's good at math will be just as good at spelling, geography, interpersonal skills, and basically any other task that requires thinking. Because her performance in all these areas is dependent on one single G factor. Remember, with one single intelligence, of course all these performances are related. Contrast this against the theory of multiple intelligences and triarchical intelligence where different thinking tasks are completely independent or unrelated to one another. Remember, the battles on the war table are interconnected, just like different thinking tasks in general intelligence. All right, that's it for general intelligence. Let's recap quickly and get back to the front lines. General intelligence was proposed by Charles Spearman and states that a single G factor underlies performance in all cognitive domains. According to this theory, performance in different cognitive tasks are interrelated. Now, we're actually done with general intelligence. I'll catch you on the other side. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.